All right, so welcome to today's tutorial. We're revising quadratic functions uh, involving the alpha and the alpha and beta uh, symbols. So this is what most of you requested that I should, I mean, we should revise today. Okay, so the first question that we have here is telling us to, to say, without solving, write down the sums and the products of the roots uh, of the following. Okay, so here, what is uh, very important is for you to know the two uh, principal formulas, yeah, which is uh, when you are adding the roots and you are multiplying the roots, what does it mean? Okay, so we quickly, or let, let me quickly show you the what, what I'm trying to talk about. So when you are multiplying two roots, you have alpha, you have alpha multiplied by beta. Uh, this should give you uh, something which is just the same as C over A. Then when you are adding two roots, which is alpha plus beta, this should give you the negative of B over A. So these are the two formulas. Uh, these are the two formulas that you need to know. Yeah, so we first start with this one here. The first question is telling us, I mean, the first question is x squared minus uh, 3x plus 5. So here, what you need to do is to identify which one is your A, which one is your B, and which one is your C. So when we when we have been told to find the sum, meaning we're going to go with this formula there. So if we've been told to find the product, then we go with the, that formula. So let me do this. Okay. So let me do this. So A, I'll write this. So I'll solve my A here. So the product of A will be, uh, so alpha times beta of A will just be equal to uh, C over A. So let me do this, sorry. So alpha multiplied by beta will just be equal to uh, C over A. So C over A is simply five. My C here is five. So I'm going to have five there. And then A is going to, I mean, A is just, uh, sorry, A is just one. I'm writing A instead of writing one. So A is just one, meaning the multiplication of uh, alpha and beta, the two roots, when you find, I mean, when you solve this quadratic equation, the answers that you are going to find, when you multiply them, you are going to find your answer to be five. And then when you, I mean, when you add the two sums, I mean, sorry, when you add the two uh, roots that you are going to find after solving this quadratic equation, you are going to have your alpha plus beta being equal to a uh, negative, what is my B there? My B is three. I mean, my B is negative three. So I'm going to have my negative three like that. Then over uh, A, which is uh, one. So meaning when I multiply my roots after solving that quadratic equation, I'm going to get my answer to be positive three. Okay, so we are done with the first part. So let's move on to B. So B, uh, so for B, you do the same thing again. So for B, to find alpha multiplied by beta, you have your answer being equal to uh, C over A. So C is negative three. And then A is equal to two. So when you divide the two, you have negative three over two. And then when you when you're finding the sum of, of what's this when you're finding the sum of two 
um, two roots after solving this uh, quadratic equation, you are going to have your answer to be, you're going to have your answer to be uh, negative B. So my B is seven. So it's going to be negative seven over A. My A is two. So this is going to be my sum for the second question. Let's quickly move on to the third question. So this is question C. So question C, you also do the same. So question C, you also do the same. So alpha times beta for question C is going to be equal to uh, C over A, meaning is negative seven over A, which is three. Then when you are finding the sum, so the sum, the sum is, go, is going to be equal to uh, B over A. So B over A will be four over three. Four over three is going to be our sum. After finding the roots, when you add the two sums, you're going to get your answer to be four over three. Then when you multiply the two roots that you find after solving this quadratic equation, uh, it's going to be, you are going to get this answer. Yeah. So let's quickly move on to the last question. So the last one is this one. Let me even demarcate this. So this is the last part. How do you find the roots of this last part? So first of all, we're going to start by cross multiplying here. And then, so when you cross multiply here, you're going to have two times three there, you get six, uh, six being equal to, you're going to have x plus two, and then you multiply it with three x minus one. And then, so you're going to have something like this. So here, what is, uh, what follows now is you to expand this. So you're going to have this X multiplying with everything in this uh, other bracket there. So you do, uh, you do it like this, X times three X minus one, and then plus two. Two, three, X minus one again. So six is also equal to, so X times three X, you get three X squared and then minus X. Then two times three X, you get uh, positive six X. And then two times negative one, you get negative two. So you write your six like that. Then you you pair the like terms. So meaning I'm going to have three x squared negative x plus six, you get positive five x and then minus two, you write it like that. So we're going to have three x squared plus five x. Then this negative two, when you pair it with this six, when this six crosses the other side of the equal sign, you're going to have negative eight and your answer being equal to zero. So this is basically the quadratic equation that we're going to use uh, to find the sum and the product of our roots. So meaning our D, D will now be equal to, yeah, D will now be equal to, uh, uh, what's this, our, our, our product of the roots for D will now be equal to, so it's going to be equal to negative eight, which is C, and then over A, my A is three. And then alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta will now be equal to, it's going to be negative five, which is B over A, which is three. 
So yeah, this is uh, the end of uh, this is the end of uh, this is I think question. Yeah, this is the end of the question. We've solved A to D. All right. So this question is, is from your tutorial sheet. This question is from your tutorial sheet. Let's quickly move on to the next question.